Hi guys, uh, this is Saeed. I'm going to show you how to make classic tandoori chicken right in the comfort of your own home. So I got some chicken legs here. Uh, I'm not using any chicken breast today, just chicken legs. And I got some spices here. I got here Kashmiri masala. As you can see, Pataks Kashmiri masala, you can buy it from any supermarkets. I go here Tandoori Spice Marinade. Then again, it's again Pataks. I go red color, food color. Red food color basically is just, it. this food color doesn't give any flavor or any taste. It's just for, it's like, it just look nice, that's, that's all. If you don't want to use it, you can skip it. Use all the spices, it's fine, but if you don't want to use the food color, you can skip it, it's not a problem. And I'm going to use some yogurt there, natural yogurt. I'm going to use mint sauce. I'm going to use some garlic ginger paste. The garlic ginger paste I made here at home. I got a recipe video in my channel. I will put the I mean link on the description. And I'm going to use um, half lemon. Then I got some spices here. I got Kashmiri red chili powder. I got garam masala. I got cumin powder, I got turmeric powder, I got coriander powder. I'm going to use Kashmiri met sorry Kasuri methi as well. The fenugreek clips. I got uh, it's called mustard oil. You can buy it from any Asian shops, Asian supermarkets. I don't know if um, Tesco has to do that but uh, you can have a look but uh, I got it from Asian supermarket and here I got 10 piece sorry not 10 piece give me one second let me count it I think 7 piece I got 7 piece chicken legs here so I'm going to mix the spices first here into a bowl then I'm going to marinate it so guys one by one I'm going to add all the spices into the bowl so I'm, I'm going to put one tablespoon of garlic ginger paste. I'm going to add the spices and I'm going to add one teaspoon of paprika powder, half a teaspoon of garam masala. One teaspoon of cumin powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, and less than half uh, turmeric, turmeric powder. Then I'm going to add Kashmir masala, sorry, tandoori spice, tandoori spice marinade. Add two two teaspoon of tandoori mayonnaise. I'm going to add Kashmir masala. Two teaspoon of Kashmir paste. Then I'm going to add. Mint sauce, one teaspoon. I'm going to add some oil. Mustard oil. If you don't have mustard oil, you can you can add um, olive oil or cooking oil if you want. 
but most preferably um, the mustard oil. I'm gonna add one and a half teaspoon. Add a little bit of red color. Put up. I'm going to add the lemon juice. I'm going to add the lemon juice. If you if you have uh, lemon or lime, you can add lime juice as well if you want. It's more better. Because now I'm going to add the yogurt, right? So basically, you know, uh, if you you know the yogurt, obviously it's actually to be honest, um, it's up to you. I mean, if you don't want to add, I mean, yogurt. Without the yogurt, you can still mix the masala. I mean, the spices, put the chicken, marinate it. Then you can um, you can cook it in your oven. But obviously. I'm going to make tandoori, ch tandoori chicken today, so restaurant style, so I'm going to add the yogurt today. But next time I'll show you guys without the yogurt. Two, three, two, three teaspoons of yogurt. I'm going to mix all the spices. the color and the texture of the spice you can see it's a very nice mix so now I'm going to add chickens it's clean nice and clean one by one add all of them Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a cling fling foil and wrap it up and marinate it for like overnight and then you can like, to be honest, marination but to be honest, you know, for the tandoori chicken, I think one hour is maximum one hour, I mean minimum one hour is, is, is absolutely fine. After one hour you can cook it straight away into the oven. Put it in the oven and cook it. So guys, just wrap it with the clean fling and put it inside the fridge. And also another information I would like to give you guys, you know this uh, marination, um, keep it in the fridge and like obviously a lot of people there there is out there um, like grilled food and like grilled chickens so what you can do here yeah, you can marinate it like 10 piece 6 7 piece or 8 piece um, then you can put it in the fridge take it out one piece put it in the oven yeah, so th this marination will last um, minimum 5 6 days easily if you keep it in the fridge It'll, it'll last five six days so guys I'm going to spread some butter ghee into the tray uh, but if you if you like if you like to put just butter or margarine if you prefer it's absolutely fine you can do that so let's do that Add 
adding all the chickens slowly. Guys, make sure you score the chicken before you adding into the spice. Then you, the spices go in, the flavors goes in, goes into inside the chicken, into the chicken. So guys, I'm going to put this inside the oven, and I'm going to cook it for 30 to 40 minutes uh, on 180 degrees Celsius, hot and for gas mark right and there's another tips I, I want to give you guys in, I mean just let you sh let me know you let me sh uh, tell you guys that uh, that leftover spice you can reuse this spice in next three to four days so you can buy more chicken add in to this spice if you want then it's absolutely fine as I'm putting into the oven the gas mark is 4 I'm going to cook it for 30 to 40 minutes because I'm turning around after 20 minutes 15-20 minutes to make sure the other side is done as well Guys, I think the chicken is ready. It's done. Let me let me take it out. See you guys, the chicken is 100% done. The tandoori chicken. So soft and tender. It's falling off the bone. All of them sat on. Thank you very much, guys.